So one of the things I get asked a lot is what's the best design thinking model to use? Uh, and is there one right design thinking model? And the answer is there are plenty of really awesome design thinking models out there that you can choose from. So it's a matter of how useful they are to you and to whatever context you're working in. However, having said that, most of these different models do map back to one meta model that I will often use with my clients because it stops it from being seen as a linear process. So the meta model that um, I usually use has three different phases in them. It's got a, a look phase, it's got a think phase, and it's got a do phase. So most of the activities that you'll do to start with, and these are not linear by the way, they go back and forth. So it's more a way of gauging where you are in the process rather than saying do this, then that, then that, then that. So the first phase is a look phase and uh, in some places they call it discovery or understanding or explore. Uh, and this is when you go off and do your ethnography, you do your research, your interviews, whatever that's going to be. The second phase is a think phase or a define phase or a reflecting phase and it's where you take all of the stuff that you've gone and researched and you come back and say well what does it mean and what can I do with it. Uh, the third phase once you've figured that out means you've defined, the, uh, you've defined what you think the problem is, you've started to come up with ideas. The third phase then is a do phase, so starting to prototype and test and work with it. Now at any phase, at any point with any of these, you're going backwards and forwards. So you might be in a think phase deciding that uh, you don't have enough information to define the problem correctly or to frame the problem correctly, so you might go straight back up and go and do some more research or uh, some more interviews. And as soon as you do the uh, prototyping and you start to test things, you might decide, decide that you then have to go back and reframe the problem again. So you're going back and forth between the three phases the whole time. And I've seen a number of different organizations use different versions of this. Uh, organizations such as IBM and SAP and IAG, and everybody makes it their own. So you might have look, think, do, you might have uh, discover, design, deliver, or explore, uh, reflect, experiment, or iterate. It comes up in different forms, but it's basically the same principles that sit underneath each one. Now, the piece that most of these miss out is the fourth element that sits in the middle. And the one that sits in the middle is a person and empathizing. And we need to be really explicit about this because every single phase feeds back into and out of the empathize, the, the, the empathize stage. So everything that you're doing, it doesn't matter what phase you're in, is all about getting a deeper understanding uh, and connection with the people that you're designing for and with. So it's the piece that design thinkers or true design thinkers take for granted and it's the piece that is most often overlooked, for, um, overlooked by business. So make it explicit. Put it in regardless of which one you use and make it explicit. So is there one right ultimate design thinking model? The one ring to rule them all? Um, no, there isn't. There are plenty of models that are equally effective and it's really about playing with them to find out which one is most useful to you. And um, just make sure that you make whichever one you use, that you make the empathize bit explicit to make sure that it doesn't get overlooked, which it often does. And if they're too sort of step by step or if it's too complex, then maybe think about using this meta model of look, think, do with a person in the middle. Um, many of my clients have found that this is a, a much more useful and down to earth way of working with design thinking because it's uh, more about the phases that you're in and the principles of working in this way than it is about following a step by step routine. So whichever one you use, keep the empathy in and play. If you want to know more about design thinking and some of the basic tools, then please download my free ebook that goes through the basic principles of design thinking, as well as three of the core tools and helps you take them to a whole new level.